don't half-ass it. Don't half-ass it. I mean, think about it. If you're going to do something, if you've chosen to do something, whatever, it's easy, hard. If you give it your all and you don't half-ass it, win, lose, draw, get what you want, don't get what you want, whatever the outcome is, if you don't half-ass it, at least you're not going to have to wonder, ooh, would the outcome have been different? What if I did get it right? And boy, wondering that is what keeps us up. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. And it means taking little bitty steps forward every single opportunity you get. Life is 10% of what happened to you is 90% of what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't, just change your mindset. If you want to be the best, you watch the best. You look at the best. You watch them and you have their lifestyle. Don't be like this, have their lifestyle. And it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous. And most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation. Almost every time, it's hell. Motivation is a feeling that comes and goes, and it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. Discipline is infinitely more important. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. It's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. It's more important to, to own your weaknesses. We like to run away from weaknesses. Like for instance, if you're good at running, all you want to do is run. If you're great at reading, you have several books. But we don't do those things that we're not good at. So for me, I realized, man, like I keep on running away from these things I'm not good at. I have to dive into these things. I have to become one with these things. So I made this long list of things that I don't want to do. And through that, I found myself. So I started seeing myself very differently than the average human being. I was like, hang on a second. I have something they don't have. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great, never-ending work ethic. The more you put into anything in life, the more you're going to get out. Now, for whatever reason, people understand this. And they understand that the more you put into building a business, the more you're going to get out of it. The more hours you spend working on anything, the more you are going to get out. Work pays. They print money. They don't print time. They don't print opportunities. You can lose money and get it back. You can't get time back. You can't get experiences back. Worship getting your time back with your family. Average people focus on money. The great focus on time, because I can't get my time back. Do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Don't give up. Don't let the world get you down. When it does get you down, get up and write what you want out of your life and don't get stop. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no vacations. Only when people with credit card debt take vacations. You get up every fucking day, you look in the mirror and you tell that mirror, I'm a bad mother And one way or another, I'm going to make it fucking happen today. Your dream is the most important thing in this world. You got to dream about something so big that it dwarfs all your fears. The way you overcome fear is with your dream. You got to make your dream so big that nothing matters except that dream. You're willing to do everything that's necessary. I was listening to Will Smith the other day. Will Smith said, the best things in life is on the other side of fear. It's on the other side of fear. But fear freezes people, man. The fear of failure freezes people. Suppose I don't do it. Well, you might, you might not make it. But I got news for you. If you don't do it, you damn sure ain't the very fact that you're alive, the very fact that you were born, the very fact that every morning your contract is renewed, is a vote of confidence that you are absolutely necessary, that you're indispensable, that you have within you everything you need to face any challenge. 
That doesn't mean we won't be challenged. Your gift will make room for you. Now what is your gift? It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. You have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team. Whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. All failure is psychological. This does not mean that you won't lose some battles because you will. But it does mean that as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, then you haven't failed. It just means you've made a, a temporary tactical retreat. It means you've made a, a brief withdrawal so that you can regroup, reattack. Don't die with this gift and don't never use it. All of y'all got this wonderful gift, but you gotta use it. Some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop. There is no getting around. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way. You got to get messed up sometimes. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stairs. You got to understand that success, you can't Google success. I want to talk to you today about the power of I am. What follows these two simple words will determine what kind of life you live. I am blessed, I am strong, I am healthy, or I am slow, I am unattractive. The I am's that are coming out of your mouth will bring either success or failure. All through the day, the power of I am is at work. We make a mistake, I am so clumsy. We look in the mirror, I am so old. We see somebody very talented, I am so average. Many times we use the power of I am against us. We don't realize how it's affecting our future. Here's the principle, what follows the I am will always come looking for you. Stop complaining and do me a favor. If you want to make a difference, all you got to do is one thing. This is how you get started. You want something different? Listen to me. All you got to do is make a decision. That's it. See, when you begin to understand and acknowledge your fear and you go forth anyhow, you go forth in a spirit and a knowing that there's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere. There's a solution what it is that you're seeking, that you have the capacity to whatever comes up, to handle it, to face it. And rather than feeling powerless, you begin to feel powerful.